Good evening, everyone. This is Danny Gallivan with Dick Irvin from the Boston Garden. The score, Boston won. Montreal, no score. And this is the third game of the Stanley Cup quarterfinal series between these two teams. And the Boston Bruins have dominated the play so far. And they well deserve the one-goal margin they had. Westfall from Oren Sanderson at 5.15. Gump Worsley has pulled off some scintillating saves in goal for the Montreal Canadiens. And right now they're playing five aside. Harper has 54 seconds left. And for the Boston Bruins, Murphy serving a penalty assessed against Cheevers has a minute and 16 seconds. J.C. Trombley over to LaRose, barging down on the right wing with Richard. It's over Richard, stick into the corner. Green covering up. Now then, Quake off the board for the Bruins. Ori goes to the corner. A back pass to the other side. Boston's Craig clears it down the ice, and it's J.C. Trombley back after it. Icing called against the Boston Bruins, and for the first 11 minutes of this period, this place was in an uproar. You could hardly hear yourself. But it has settled down, and uh, the hockey hasn't been quite as aggressive in the last four or five minutes. Nothing uh, of a dirty nature in the first 10 or 11. It was just good, solid hockey. The referee is Hood, Ego, and Pavlich are the linesmen. 5.57 left in the opening period. Richard facing off against Westfall. Canadians every man up. Now here's Richard turning off the boards over to the other side. J.C. Trombley shooting it, and it was blocked there by Craig. Trombley back for the Montreal Canadiens. Harper has 10 seconds left in his penalty. Out to center ice, Green handing it off to the other side. It's cleared in by Ori. Craig picking it up on the board. Back to Ori. Winds up for the shot. It ricochets. Comes in front. Richard has it. Now Harper is back on for Montreal. Canadians have the advantage. Craig hands it off to Westfall. He's over the line. Valleball blocked the pass. Down with Cornoyer racing in on goal. And Ori. against Cornoyer as Cornoyer was ready to break right in on Cheevers. Okay, Dick. Thank you, Danny. As we look at the Don Ory in the penalty box for Boston right now, and as Danny mentioned, this place has been an uproar. One thing I've learned is that goal by the Bruins is any indication when the replays come on after their goals, there's not much that you or I can say because nobody's going to hear us anyway. Fourteen forty-nine, the time of the hooking penalty to Ori. Out of town, the Rangers are leading the Blackhawks one nothing on a goal by Rod Gilbert from Rattel and Hatfield at fifteen fifty-four of the first period. Now Canadians with the advantage of two players. Murphy will be back in four seconds from the face-off. It's behind the net. Bobby Orr comes up with it, cleared it in among the spectators, and Murphy, who served a. Uh, Minor penalty assessed against goalie Cheevers. Comes out of the penalty box, goes to the Bruins bench, and we have Craig out there with Orr, Dallas Smith, and Westfall. And a minute and 55 seconds left in the penalty to Ori. One to nothing, the Bruins are leading on a goal by Westfall. And shaping up like a bruising battle. Now it's dicked up. Over the pass is deflected. Finally, Bobby Orr comes up with a place on the board. He's racing after going down with Westfall. Here's Orr trying to get it in front. And Worsley kicked out a rolling puck to the corner. Cornoyer for Montreal. He's starting out. Rousseau picks it up. He decides to go back to get skating room. Valleball dicked up. Cornoyer and Russo. Four of them down at center with Duff in full flight. Duff going to the corner, getting steady center right out in front. Russo is tied up. Here's Cornoyer faking the shot to La Perriere. The shot. They score! Balaval. John Balaval. Tying it up for Montreal. Balaval part right beside the goal crease as La Perriere let a low shot go from the point. And you'll see the big fella just tip it in as he was being tied up at the corner of the net. But Balaval, somewhat in the manner that Claude Provo did the other night for the winning goal on Thursday, 
managed to get his stick on it, so we've got a tie hockey game. That one a power play goal for the Canadians. Here come the Canadians with Backstrom. Bobby Orr blocks it. Backstrom gets it again on the board. In behind is Ferguson getting away from Dallas Smith. Up on the left wing, Esposito to Williams going down with Hodge. Hodge has the shot, and he's wide. Here's Dallas Smith laying it on the board. Harper against Esposito. Hodge moves in for Boston getting set, and the centering pass goes down the ice. Three minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the first period. The score tied 1-1. Dallas Smith tried to hit Hodge with it. LaPerriere for Montreal misses Backstrom. Dallas Smith going over on the left wing to Esposito. And the puck is cleared back to the Boston line. There's Bobby Orr handing it off to Smith. Smith ahead for Hodge. He missed it. And Ferguson. Moving in for the Canadians with Williams after him. Harper has to recover for Montreal. To Ferguson. Bruins trying to tie the Canadians up. As they have done so effectively so often in this period so far. But the Canadians have come on strongly offensively in the last six or seven minutes. Now Williams to Bobby Orr. And it's Ferguson out with Provo. Backstrom coming up in the play. Ferguson shoots at the rebound. And Orr is there for Boston. Bobby Orr squeaking up at center, shoots it in. Provo falls. Into the corner, it's Esposito against Harper. They fight for possession. Back it comes out over the line. And Orr has to wait for three of his teammates to get onside. Orr is over the line. He lost it. And just starts up for Montreal and clears it down the ice. Alice Smith ahead for Busey. Busey working against Harper. It's off a leg. Back to center. Green shooting it in. It's called on the offside. Score tied 1-1. Balaval from Le Perrier and Cournoyer at 15.35. The Montreal goal. Westfall from Orr and Sanderson at 5.15. Now Dick Duff, the pass off his stick. He tried to get by Green. Here's McKenzie going in on the right side. It's blocked. Green shoots it in. Stanfield getting set. The pass off the stick. Russo knocks it on the board. Ori back into Johnny Busick. Now Busick on the board. Stanfield, his pass is gobbled up by Lemire. There's Green taking a shot. He's wide. Busick getting set. Hands it to McKenzie right in front. Out over the line. And a sprawling Don Ory couldn't keep it in. Now Busick for Boston, lost it to Russo. Russo on the right wing, the shot! And Cheevers made a great save on that hard blast by Russo. McKenzie passing it back into his own zone in the corner. And we have a minute and 17 seconds remaining in the opening period. The score is tied 1-1. Boston starting up with Sandfield, missing it on the left wing. Lemaire. Clears it to the corner. Russo is racing in against Green. And Green comes up with it. Green has been outstanding for Boston in the series so far. Less than a minute remaining. It's McKenzie playing it on the board. Sather, number 14, trying to catch it. And it's Russo for Montreal. He cleared it in toward the corner. And Don Ory takes over for Boston to Sather. Russo doing a great job of forechecking for Montreal. There's an offside. Paul Henderson of the Toronto Maple Leafs is our guest analyst for tonight's game, and Paul will be along with Ward Cornell during our first intermission to talk about this first period. And also during the first intermission, Dan Kelly will be chatting with Gump Worsley. The Boston Bruins, according to Coach Sinden, so far in the series have been ultra-conservative, not enough left wing. Music and Shaq, two outstanding left wingers during the season, have been a way below form. And uh, Shaq hasn't played in this game so far tonight. Score tied 1-1. Le Perry uh, back quickly for Montreal. Sanderson number 16. Say to try to set up Le Perry here for a check. He couldn't get him. Balibo cleared it to the line, not out. Or fired it back in. 
Now then it's Harper clearing it to Cornwaye. Cornwaye down slowly from center, drills the long shot, the rebound. Bella ball missed it, so does Gilles Tremblay. There's going to be a penalty here. Sanderson, I think, for Sidney. And Sanderson argued the point with the referee, Bruce Hood. And now he skates slowly over the penalty box. Nine seconds remain here in the opening period. So in penalties, Boston has picked up a total of four, and Montreal two. Now then, Toe Blake sending out Russo, Gilles Tremblay, Cournoyer, Le Perrier, and Bellevaux. Bellevaux back on one of the points with Le Perrier. Now Gilles Tremblay shot it towards Cheevers. He cleared it, Cournoyer back to Bellevaux. Bellevaux clearing it in front, or can't knock it out. Russo knocked it down, and the horn goes to end. The first period. It was Westfall from Orr and Sanderson at 515. Balaval from La Ferriere and Cournoyer at 1535. From the Boston Garden, hockey night in Canada. Tonight marks the first Stanley Cup game here since the 7th of April, 1959. Score tied 1-1, second period about to get underway, and Sanderson is in the penalty box. He has a minute and 51 seconds remaining in his penalty. Dallaval, Cournoyer, Duff, Russo, and Le Perrier for Montreal. Westfall and Craker up front for the Bruins, Orr and Dallas Smith on defense. The puck is shot down into Canadian territory, and Russo goes back there to get the Canadian power play organized. Dallaval takes the pass, streaks out over the line. Cournoyer on one wing, Duff on the other, and there's the shot, and it hit Bobby Orr. Craig, he's a great penalty killer, slides it on the wing. And Russo goes back behind Gump Worsley. Chicago and New York are tied 1-1 in the second period. Dick Duff getting away from Quake. He's in over the line. Duff trying to get by Orr Cornoyer. Back to the point of LaPierre. There's the shot. He's wide. Russo on the boards for Bellevue. Westfall picks it up, gets it to the line, it's out over the line. Here's Craig coming down. Craig getting set over to Westfall. And it hopped over his stick. Westfall gets it out over the line. Duff down with Balaval. Duff fakes the shot. Balaval clearing it to the other side. Couldn't hold it. And Craig knocked it down the ice. We have 37 seconds remaining in the penalty to Sanderson. Cornoyer. Having difficulty against Craig, who tipped it back into the corner. Le Perrier to Russo. Russo coming out, and Gilles Tremblay takes it. Bellevaux is trailing. Back to Bellevaux. There's the shot. Cournoyer hit the side of the net. Gilles Tremblay to Cournoyer. Westfall starting out for Boston. He's just ragging the puck to kill off seconds. Back to Bobby Orr. And Canadians are not going to have another chance for a power play rush because now Sanderson is back on. Here's Bobby Orr over the line trying to cut around. He gets it. He rolled it into the crease. And Le Perrier for Montreal. Esposito is on with Tommy Williams. Le Perrier knocked at the center. Hodge, the other forward, Esposito over the line. Hodge couldn't get the pass behind him. Now it goes, there's a shot right on by Tommy Williams, and the second time tonight, Dick, Gumper is Leo's Rob Tommy Williams. Score tied, 1-1, Esposito goes to the corner, Williams gets it, tries to roll it in front, blocked by J.C. Tremblay. Tremblay ahead for Provo, stopped by Ory, called on the offside. That Chicago goal in New York, Bobby Hull from Makita and Stapleton at 10-12 of the second period ties the game 1-1. The ice dimension is a little smaller here than at the form in Montreal. 191 by 83 here, 200 by 85 in Montreal. Back a shot down to Cheever. Green is back after it. Off the board for Williams. Williams getting away from Cobo. He rolled it ahead to center. Ferguson back with Harris. Harris to Provo. 
Stopped by Hodge. Hodge is checked by Bostrom. Out over the line it comes. Esposito shooting it in. Worsley handing it off to Ferguson. Williams is giving him some trouble. Now here's Esposito right over in front of Williams. Williams slides and Worsley is down. A bouncing puck in front of the net. And Worsley flat on the ice. Was on top of the puck. And what a chance for the Bruins as Trombley overskated the puck in behind the net. Williams and Esposito out in front and Worsley, as Danny mentioned, rolling on top of the puck. Williams is taking the place of Eddie Shack on the line with Esposito and Ken Hodge. We haven't seen Shack make an appearance so far here this evening. It goes off for his shirt, stick over the glass from the face off. Westfall from Orr and Sanderson at 5.15 in the opening period. Belleville from Cournoyer and Laperriere at 15.35. Laperriere to Richard. Stopped at the Boston line by Smith. Orr is turning. Orr a pass to Busick off his stick. And Harper cleared it over the glass. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from the Boston Garden. Uniflow and Esso Extra motor oils are warranty approved. That's something extra from Esso. LaPerriere knocking at the center. Orr to McKenzie, back to Orr. Here's McKenzie into center ice to pass Stanfield. Busick over on the other side. McKenzie racing in against LaPerriere. It's in behind Worsley. Busick getting it. McKenzie digging it out from behind the net. He tries to center it. Richard is belted by McKenzie. Oh, Richard was belted to the ice by McKenzie. There's LaPerriere shooting it in. It's called on the offside. You know, the garden is festooned with banners saluting many of the Boston players. Max the Digger, happiness is Teddy Green, pocket to him, broom, and 14 KT Orr. But they have one here for a visiting player tonight, Dick. It says, down with Dirty Fergie. Now it's McKenzie shooting it in off the board. And this is an enthusiastic cross. Busick intercepting a pass. Russo starts away with Dick Duff. Russo's shot right on off Orr's leg. And it's Dallas Smith to the other side to McKenzie. McKenzie to Busick. Busick down on the wing. He's checked by Harris. McKenzie couldn't get by Harris. Or to Stanfield. Now Dallas Smith comes up with it. Rolls it into Montreal territory. We play four minutes and 28 seconds in the second period. Score tie. 1-1. Lemaire over the line. Bobby Orr went after him. And it's Dallas Smith in behind Cheever. Smith jammed into the boards by Duff. Here's Orr, off the boards for McKenzie. Big Ted Harris romped in to stop it. Orr to Dallas Smith, out it goes to Stanfield. He plays it on an open wing. And as J.C. Tremblay back for the Montreal Canadiens. Boston making changes on the fly. Sather comes out along with Sanderson. Here's Sanderson keeping it in. He rolls it in, takes the shot. Whereas they kick it out, it's into the three. And J.C. Tremblay comes up with it. And the Bruins have come close on many occasions here in the second period from close in. Westfall sidesteps Lemaire, finally lost his balance, and J.C. Trombley hands it off to Harris. Russo for Montreal with Lemaire. Lemaire couldn't get it. Westfall for Sather, off his stick. J.C. Trombley ahead for Gilles Trombley to Russo. Lemaire up ahead. Lemaire tried to get that lead pass, but Orr takes over for Boston, and finally they call it on the offside. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from the Boston Garden. S.O. Uniflow, the super premium all-season motor oil. Protect your car and your new car warranty. It's warranty approved from S.O. And some of the fans, Dick, behind us are beginning to start the chant, We Want Shaq. Shaq has not been on the ice so far tonight for Boston. 
Cross ball down on the right wing. LaPerriere to Gilles Tremblay turning with Balavo. Has it? Balavo ripped that shot from well out. Gilles Tremblay to the other side. Here's Harper. Harper slapping it. It's loose in front. Balavo takes a shot. And it's behind the net to Green. Green ahead to Westfall with Sanderson. Back to Westfall and some fine back checking by Gilles Tremblay. Don Ory to Green. Green getting away from Gilles Tremblay ahead to Sather. Sather's in on the line. Rolled it ahead. Cournoyer is back. Gilles Tremblay from the left wing coming out with Balavo. Cournoyer coming up on the play. Cournoyer cutting in. And he hit the side of the net. And there's going to be a penalty here. It's going to be Sanderson. And it'll likely be slashing. We have played six minutes and 50 seconds in the second period. The score is tied 1-1. Cournoyer back to Russo. Over on the other side to J.C. Tremblay. There's the shot kicked out beautifully by Cheaters. Russo over for J.C. Tremblay. Green trying to catch up with it. Balavar blocked it. Balavar having difficulty finding it. Trying to set up Cournoyer. Cournoyer. His pass is deflected by Westfall. And Canadians forced back into their own zone. One minute and 30 seconds left in the penalty. Dick Duff lost it. Westfall playing it back for Green. It's down the ice and Ori moves back. Up to the point. Russo couldn't hold it in and down the ice it goes. It's still Chicago 1, New York Rangers 1 in the second period. And it's 1-1 here. Russo, a pass for Duff off his skate. Cleared it to the other side. And Boston doing a fine job again of killing off the penalty. Now Canadian straight up with Provo coming in on that right wing. Takes a shot. He shoots. He scores! Provo! A long shot. A long shot and a quick shot as Provo picks up the puck just uh, over the red line. And as he stepped inside that Boston blue line. He just let it go, and it caught Cheevers napping as it went in past the Boston goaltender on the stick side. So the Canadians take a two-to-one lead. And that's the second power play goal. the Bruins to trail two to one. Williams, he's been one of their best players out there tonight. Gets it to Esposito. Ferguson breaks it up and it's offside. The time of that goal, 7.59. Pro ball with J.C. Trombley and Duff assisting. Canadians leading in the series two games to none, having won in Montreal 2-1 and 5-3. And everybody in Boston, fans, players, executives, they all realize that this is a must game for the Boston Bruins. So they line up after the offside at the Boston Blue Line. Eight minutes and 25 seconds have been played in this period. Dallas Smith over to Orr. Orr back to Smith. Out it goes to Esposito. He gets it ahead. Provo stops it. Comes back with Baxter. Moe takes it. Ferguson going in. Baxter shoots. He scores! Dallas Smith screening Cheevers. Ralph Baxter with John Ferguson coming down on the right wing. He used Dallas Smith as a screen. And as Smith went down to block the shot, Baxter just slapped the low one into the bottom left-hand corner. And Cheevers was completely screened on the play and didn't make a move. And so here, very dramatically, the Canadians, with Baxter's goal, go ahead now 3-1. to one. Well, 
And so the Canadians, who were almost run out of the rink in the first 10 minutes and only uh, were scored upon once because of the great work of Gump Ursley, now have a 3-1 lead. Or a pass for McKenzie, cleared it ahead. Ted Harris knocked it out to center. Here's Orr down on the line. He's upended. There's going to be a penalty here to Ted Harris. Back them from Provo at 8.41, just 42 seconds after Provo's goal. So the Bruins now will have the opportunity to put on the power. was Johnny McKenzie. In the face-off, it goes to the corner. Busey back to Stanfield. He put it right on Provo's stick. And Provo gives it down the ice. And Provo, as the players call him Joe, he's known as Joe, having another great night. Here's Esposito ahead on the left wing to Stanfield. He hits the line, shoots it in. Racing in there is McKenzie. McKenzie on the board, Despacito back to Bobby Orr, there's the shot, oh, it bounces right in front, Worsley is down, another shot, and Busick is tied up, and the Bruins did everything but put it in there. Worsley hasn't got his stick, now he reaches down to get it. Bobby Orr, over to Stanfield, and it goes to Busick right in front, and Esposito couldn't get it, and Gilles Tremblay shoots it down the ice. Now we have 10 minutes left in the second period and one minute remaining in the penalty to Ted Harris. Esposito coming out with McKenzie, Stanfield, and Busey. McKenzie has it. He flips it in there. Worsley cleared it onto Stanfield's stick. Here's Esposito trying to get it. Back and goes to Bobby Orr. Orr shooting it in, and J.C. Tombley promptly knocked it to center. Or to McKenzie. Montreal three, Boston one in the second period. McKenzie with Stanfield back to McKenzie over to Busey. Busey going in. It's off the board. Here's McKenzie trying to center it. Coming up on the board, the Perrier. Couldn't keep it in against Orr. Here's McKenzie. Right out. It goes to Stanfield. There's the shot. And he ripped that one off the leg of J.C. Trombley. Stanfield almost stand on it. J.C. Trombley with Joe Trombley. One man back. J.C. going in, and it was blocked by Bobby Orr. Tromley clearing it out. Sather is on the ice. Now Ted Harris comes back on. Stanfield turning in his own line. Coming out for the Bruins with Westfall, who has it on the right wing. He's over the line. Westfall getting in a backhand shot. He was wide. A nice move by Westfall. Ferguson from Montreal cleared it out over the line to center. Green shooting it in, and again a wave of Bruins moves in there. Here's Green moving to the right wing boards. There's a shot. Oh, it's a flex just wide. Here's Sather trying to center it. Ferguson getting it up on the wing to Backstrom. He couldn't catch up with it. Ori to Green. Green ahead for Westfall going near the corner. He centers it, and J.C. Trombley cleared it away. Westfall in behind the net. Trying to center it. He's bumping there with Bachstrom. Sather and J.C. Tromley and Ferguson move in. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from the Boston Garden. And it's Green. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the middle period. Green, a pass to Dallas Smith. Over off the boards for Hodge. Hodge shooting it in toward the corner. Provo back there for Montreal. Provo ahead to J.C. Tromley. Probably takes his time. The pass is stopped by Hodge, picked up by Esposito from center. He shoots it in. Worsley, who has been very sharp, particularly in the early stages, clearing it. Now Provo coming out for Montreal with Ferguson and Backstrom across the line. A drop pass to Backstrom. Back to Provo. He tries to cut it back. Ferguson scores! Ferguson from Provo. And Montreal takes a 4-1 lead. And now in slow motion, you'll see a fine passing play for the Canadians as Backstrom to Provo as they sweep down the right side. And John Ferguson coming in along the center line, as it were, in front of that goal crease, and he just wrapped home the pass out from the side of the net. And it's 4-1 to one now for Montreal. 1.37 left to play in the second period. At 
1823, Ferguson from Provo and Backstrom, Montreal four, Boston one. Now then, Green. Waiting for Esposito. Esposito picks it up. Esposito ahead for Hodge. He missed it. LaPerriere to Bellaval. Bellaval over on the right side for Provo. Takes the long shot. And now some of the fans here beginning to get on Cheever. But he certainly didn't have a chance on that last goal. Ferguson was set up beautifully. Here's Hodge down on the right wing. He shoots it off the glass. And it stays up on the dasher. One minute remaining. There's a shot of Gunt Worsley. Gunt doesn't like flying. We had a rather bumpy flight into Boston last evening. At one stage, the plane hit a rather severe pocket of turbulence. And uh, Gump was upset, his most anxious moment of the series. Then some of the players said, don't worry, Gump. It's only 254 miles as the crow flies. He said, I'm not worrying about how that crow flies. I'm worrying how about this fl plane fly. Well, it hasn't affected him. He has been brilliant tonight. Hot back in Boston Territory, 43 seconds left. Now Bellavo knocked down a clearing pass. It comes in front. And out it goes Williams from Ori. Williams is down with Hodge. Williams streaking in on that left wing. Trying to center it. Ridden in on the boards. Here's Esposito to the other side. Back it goes to Green. Green getting set for the shot. Working his way in. And he tried to set up Esposito. Here's Esposito missing on the attempted pass in front. Esposito gets it again. Tries to get in front. Roll it right in front. And it went over Hodge's stick. There's another shot by Green. He's wide. Don Ory takes the shot. Williams winds up. They score! Well, the Bruins kept it in, and Tommy Williams, who has played a great game, wraps it home from directly in front of Worsley as he's falling to the ice in the process. And for the Bruins, a very important goal with just five seconds left to go here in the second period. And that makes the count now 4-2 for Montreal. And there's justice, I would say, Dick, because Williams has been the outstanding man for Boston, in our opinion. And now the period is over. Montreal 4, Boston 2 at the end of two periods. That last scoring play for Boston at 1955, Williams from Ori and Green. With Danny Gallivan at the Boston Gardens, Canadians leading 4-2 to two as we await the start of the third period. There's Toe Blake, who this morning when he came to the Garden to see some of his extra players working out, was refused admission at first by a guard. He said, you can't come in here. And Toe said, I'm Toe Blake. And he said, no, you're not. And one of the most famous coaches in hockey had to produce his identification to get into the ring. In the third period in New York, the Rangers are now leading Chicago 2-1. The second New York goal, Donnie Marshall from Goyette and Nevin at 12.40. And talking about Donnie Marshall, it was he who scored the last overtime goal here at the Boston Garden, March the 29th, 1955. He scored as the Canadians defeated the Bruins 4-3. to three. And now let's see if that late second period goal by Williams will spark the Boston team, 4-2. Scoring for Montreal, Belleville. Provo, Backstrom, and Ferguson, Westfall, and Williams for Boston. That offside took six seconds. Bellevue, Gilles Tremblay, and Cournoyer from the face-off. It goes down the ice. And for Boston, we have Sather, Westfall, and Sanderson. Back into Bruin territory, chasing after it is Dallas Smith. On defense with Smith is Bobby Orr. Harper and LaPerriere on the blue line for the Canadians. Now Cournoyer gets it. He goes around the right over for the Gilles Tremblay and he missed it. Boston coming away with Westfall. Over to Sather. He's across the line. He dropped it back. And Balaboe is there for Montreal. He stumbles in on the line. Goes to the corner. Here's Balaboe centering it in front. And Dallas Smith ahead for Westfall. Westfall having trouble against Gilles Tremblay. 
Clearing it in over the line, and Harper shoots it down to the right of Cheever, and through the tree. And Bobby Orr leading a four-man Boston attack on the right side to Westfall. Westfall goes to the corner, takes the shot, it's over the top of the net, and Harper catches up with it. Harper to Gilles Tremblay, Balaval coming up. Gilles Tremblay shoots a hot one. Cheever is handing it off to Dallas Smith. Dallas Smith ahead to Eddie Westfall. Westfall shooting it ahead, and he hits Sather. Now then, Orr back at the Boston line, over to Dallas Smith. Smith rolled it across the line, and LaPerriere moves in to take over from Montreal to Ferguson. He couldn't trap it. Hodge back for Green. It's into the Boston zone, and Canadians and Bruins are changing on the move. There's Hodge, over for Williams. Williams turning his pass is partially blocked by Ferguson. Hodge ahead to Esposito, over the line to Tommy Williams, going in and goal! And Worsley, another hair-raising save. And Worsley has been just great tonight for Montreal. He robbed Williams, that's the third time he's robbed him, and Williams has beaten him once. Now is J.C. Tremblay with Ralph Backstrom. Backstrom away from Hodge with Provo and Ferguson in on the Boston line. It's left for Provo. He couldn't get it. Ted Harris moves in. Hodge knocks it ahead for Esposito. He shoves it in over the Montreal line. Provo is in there after it. J.C. Tremblay couldn't come up with it. Williams back to Don Ory. Off the board for Hodge. He centered it, and Provo starts away. Backstrom ahead on the right side, back to Provo to Backstrom, he's cutting in front, he slid into Cheevers and lost the puck. Bruins clearing it down the ice, they'll be called for icing. This Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from the Boston Garden. All across Canada, the big ale in the big land is Molson Export Ale. Two minutes and 56 seconds have elapsed in this, the third period. Montreal, four. Boston, two. Here's Orr, weaving his way out, plays it to McKenzie. McKenzie shoots it across the Montreal line, La Perriere. Hold it ahead. Dallas Smith for Busick, he missed it. Harper shoots it down the ice, it'll be icing again. Bobby Orr touches it. Los Angeles three. Minnesota three. Getting set for the third period in Minnesota. Boston with the defense of Orr and Dallas Smith in over the Montreal blue line. It goes back to the point. Dallas Smith failed to hold it in. He put it on Lemire's stick. Lemire over the line. The shot blocked by Dallas Smith and it's cleared to center. Here's Harper. Getting it back into the Boston zone. Smith is back after it. Lining up with Stanfield, who takes the left wing pass ahead for Busick. Busick going to center over on the right wing to McKenzie. There's the shot on the right wing board. Harper ahead for Lemaire. Dick Duff is coming up on the play. Lemaire is over the line. Oh, a sizzling shot wide. And everybody around the NHL talking about Lemaire's shot. There he is again. His pass gobbled up by Dallas Smith, coming up with McKenzie, who has it. McKenzie takes a long shot, and Worsley kicked it to the corner. Here's Busey, back to the point, and Dallas Smith, there's the shot. But Perrier knocked it down. Russo starting out with Lemaire and Duff over the Boston line, called on the offside. In the state of Massachusetts, you don't always have to have numbers on the license plate of your car. You can get your name on it and so on, with special... Uh, privilege and uh, acknowledgement from the government, and Charles McKay, the president of the Bruins, has a license plate that reads NHL. Four minutes and 18 seconds have been played in the third period. Eddie Shack comes on to play with Sanderson and Westfall. Bellevue is Gilles Tremblay and Cournoyer. For Montreal Canadiens, Green sidesteps Bellevue, then he falls. Cournoyer picked it up, tried to set up Bellevue. And Ori recovered. Now to the other side, J.C. Trombley gets away from Shaq. Out to Bellevue, back shot for Cornwallier. And he couldn't grab it. 
Now it's Westfall. Away from Bellaball. Goes to center over on the left wing to Eddie Shack. The shot is blocked by J.C. Trombley. Here it is at the point. Green winds up. Oh! Hit the goal post to the crossbar. A terrific rising shot by Teddy Green. And now the Canadians are arguing that the faceoff has to go outside the blue line. And that's what the discussion is. And Danny had just seemed to catch the join there. The post and the crossbar, and another tough break for the Bruins as Green really let that one go. So you can look at that one here in this period, plus the break that Tommy Williams had in on Worsley. And it's still 4-2 to two Canadians, but Boston has had their chances here in the third. Cornwallier chasing after Don Ory. Here's Bellavo picking up a loose puck. He overskates it, gets it again, centers it in front. Don Ory finally cleared it against Cornwallier. Green turning in front it comes. Boston starting out Ory to Shaq. Down with Sanderson. There's the shot. Off the boards. Worsley played it on the glass. J.C. Tremblay to the other side. Tremblay for Gilles Tremblay. Sanderson going after him. Here's Bellavo. Can't get it out. Green working his way in. Green still has it. Slides it to the corner. They shot a centering pass, and it goes off the stick to Gilles Tremblay. Tremblay clearing it off Bellavo's stick, and it's Ory back for Boston. He was away ahead on that pass for Shaq, and it's right being called against Boston. So the Canadians leading 4-2, to two, and their objective to make it three in a row. And Coach Tor Blake in his 13th coaching season. And it, that equals the number of years, 13, that he was in the National Hockey League as a player, briefly with the Maroons and then with the Canadians. In the face-off, LaPerrier winds up the shot! And that hit the post, at least went off the post. Now it's Hodge back, takes the long shot, Worsley deflecting it, Esposito roaming in there. On the boards. Backstrom comes away from the boards. He's down with Ferguson to the Boston line. Back to Ferguson, the shot, and it's blocked by Dallas Smith. Provo takes over at center, feeds it back in on the left wing where Orr takes over for the Bruins. Orr waiting for Esposito. Esposito out with Williams and Hodge. Back it goes to Orr. Or from center turns, the pass goes to Dallas Smith. He's in on the line to Williams, but Esposito is in there offside. Hodge backhanding it to the corner. Esposito chasing LaPerriere. The rangy Canadian defenseman out of front to Hodge. There's a backhand shot, and Worsley sprawled on that backhander. Esposito cleared it to an open point. Provo is coming up. Backstrom is with him. Boston, Dallas Smith on the right side for Hodge. He hit the Perrier with it. Hodge to Bobby Orr. Here's Orr. In on the line to Williams. Williams going in. Worsley is out. And Worsley knocked it away. Williams trying to catch up with it. The Perrier out to Ferguson. Down with Lemaire and Provo over the line. A pass to Lemaire. There's the shot. And he's wide with it. Ferguson working against the side of the net. Or up on the right wing with that pass and LaPerriere to Harper. Bravo scooping it in and Lemaire was still stranded in Boston territory. We've played seven minutes and 28 seconds. The New York Rangers have won their second game from Chicago. Two to one. There's an offside against Boston. So the Rangers move on to Chicago now for the third and fourth games with a Two to nothing lead in game. In the third period, Los Angeles and Minnesota tied 3-3. Three, 4-2 three. here for Montreal in the third. Green off Stanfield skate. Harris tried to set up Lemaire. Here's Green going to the line. He stopped by Harris. Russo cleared it out. And Lemaire takes the long shot into Cheevers. Here's Duff a pass for Russo. Green comes up with it. He's up with Busick and McKenzie and Sanfield. Green over the line. Couldn't get the pass to McKenzie. Dick Duff wheeling away on the left side. 
Duff fakes the shot. He's over the line. Cutting from the corner, getting set to pass the radio to Lemire. Shot! And Sheevers blocked that hard drive. There it goes to Lemire again. He gets the rebound. Now, boy, he takes the shot. And he hits green. Dick Duff shoots. He scores! Duff. The Canadians go ahead 5-2 to two after putting the pressure on the Lemire Duff Russo line. And Dick Duff, who scored what proved to be the winner the other night, standing right out in front, his favorite position, and he finally beats Cheevers with a low shot that carries into the center of the net. Duff's second playoff goal. And as I mentioned, he was the most accurate shooter in the Canadians this past season with a 22.6% average. Eight twenty-three. Time of the goal. Duff getting it. Montreal five, Boston two. Harper from the corner, playing it up on the board. Cornwallier couldn't get it, and Bobby Orr back for the Bruins. Orr to Dallas Smith. Gil Trombley and Belleville four checking. Now it goes to Westfall ahead for Eddie Shack. He's racing into the corner against Harper. Now Shack fails to come up with it. Cornwallier played it to the other side. Here's Westfall putting it on Belleville's stick. Bellaval, Dick handling neatly. Cleared at the center, and Dallas Smith has it. Smith is up into that center. It's recovered by Bobby Orr over for Westfall. It's into the corner. Westfall going after it, trying to center it. Jill Tremblay blocked it. Westfall again, getting it back to the line. Here's Dallas Smith, a backhand shot. Westfall chases it to the other side, trying to get away from Harper. Eddie Shack moving in. Shack is around the net, trying to get it in front of Gilles Tremblay. Bounced it back into the corner to Le Perrier. Le Perrier ahead for Belleville or for the Bruins. Fakes the shot, then flipped one high off the boards. Harper against Sanderson. And we're going to have a whistle. Harris handing it off to J.C. Tremblay. Tremblay clearing it ahead. Down the ice it goes, or back for it. Paul Henderson will be along at the end of the game with the three-star selection. Esposito dropping it back to Bobby Orr. He swings in on that right wing along the boards. Here's Orr getting it out to Esposito. The shot right on, and Worsley out of his net. Cleared it to Ferguson, and he flipped it into the center ice area. Worsley has to be one of the outstanding men on the ice. Four minutes remaining in the third period. Worsley came up with some great saves when, had he been less brilliant, the Bruins would have been in the game and at times ahead, particularly in the first period. Esposito to Hodge, the shot is wide. Back near the point, it goes to Dallas Smith. He centers it. Esposito couldn't hold it, and Provo takes over. Here's Bobby Orr on the boards, clearing it back in, and Ted Harris with Tommy Williams after him to Provo, off the glass, down the ice it goes, or back for it. Icing again. You're mentioning the Gumper. This is only the second time this season he has started a game here in Boston. And the first time, the only other full game he played was on the night of December 13th when Canadians won at 6-2, to two, and that was the night Jean Bellamo made his coaching debut, handling the team for the last two periods after Blake was ejected from the game. 20 remaining in the face-off a backhand shot wide there's Ronnie Murphy on the boards missing it against Lemaire Russo clearing it ahead McKenzie going back after it the other side to Murphy Murphy has a birthday coming up tomorrow April the 10th now at center ice Russo passes it to Duff Two minutes and 53 seconds remaining. The long shot, and Cheevers hands it off to Murphy. And this place, which was so noisy in the first 10 minutes, you could hardly make out any announcement over the PA system. Very, very quiet now. Russo knocks it on the glass to Lemaire. Lemaire catching up with it, circling around. And Russo finally has it. Ori can't do anything against him. Now Russo to Duff. 
Maybe he's just playing out the clock. LaPerrier over to Harper. Harper a pass for Russo off his stick, and it's Green back after it. Green to Ori. Danfield. McKenzie to Green. And the Bruins just can't get that attack organized against the skating of the Canadians. And the checking. Now it's Ori from the point. And there's going to be a penalty here. McKenzie, I think, for Elboy. And you know, Dick, uh, there was a lot of talk in the papers about the Bruins being very, very rough in this game tonight, but although they played it ruggedly early in the game, they haven't been tossing their bodies around. This game has followed the pattern of the first two in Montreal. This is the first penalty of this period, and as a matter of fact, in the series, it's the first penalty called in the third period because after a couple of riotous starts, especially in the opener in Montreal, things leveled off in the final 20 minutes on each occasion. McKenzie off for elbowing. Less than two minutes remaining. It's Gilles Tremblay, Cournoyer, Bellevue Harris, and J.C. Tremblay for the Canadians. Montreal leading 5-2, to two. Gilles Tremblay coming in, he shoots it wide. Cheever's watching Bellevue, it's cleared. Cornwallier couldn't keep it in. Craig put it on Gilles Tremblay, stick, there's the shot off. Dallas Smith, Bellevue is belted by Dallas Smith. And we have a minute and a half remaining. Craig to the other side to Doak. Doak shoots it down the ice. And J.C. Tremblay moves back after it. That final score once again in New York, New York 2, Chicago 1. And it's 4-3 in the third period for Minnesota over Los Angeles. Here's Cournoyer down with Bellevue. Bellevue couldn't take it in with him. And finally, it's called on the offside. Less than a minute now remaining in the third period. 55 seconds to be exact. Shot down the ice by the Canadians. And they'll be called for icing, and this game has fallen very, very flat. 51 seconds remaining in the penalty to McKenzie, and unless Canadians score and before the end of the game, McKenzie will wind up proceedings in the penalty box. Skippy Creek, number 21 against Bellaball. It goes to Ted Harris. Sather watches him. It's left for Cornwallier. Cornwallier misses it. Here's Creek taking a shot, and he hit Ted Harris. Bellaball at the line with Gilles Trombley and Cornwallier down to the Boston line. Bellaball fakes the shot, fires it wide. Gilles Trombley back to Cornwallier. The J.C. Trombley It's done over the line. 20 seconds left. J.C. Trombley chased back by Craig. Trombley is hit on the right hand by Craig. Now Trombley zigging and zagging. Eight seconds left. He's going to try to kill off the clock. Finally plays it to the other side of Cournoyer. The Gilles Trombley, the game is over. And the Montreal Canadiens take a stranglehold on this series. Winning this one tonight by a score of 5-2, to two, and they now lead in the series three games.